Hi, I'm Adam, and this is Epifan's latest streaming and recording product, Pearl. Today we're going to quickly run through unboxing and setting it up. Pearl arrives in a reusable hard shipping case. Inside the case, you'll find the Pearl. The Pearl sits in this custom foam tray. Underneath the tray, you'll find the power supply and all the included cables. Included are the power supply, network cable, SDI cable, HDMI cable, VGA cable, and HDMI to DVI adapter. I'm in North America, so mine comes with a North American power supply. If you're in the UK, it'll come with a UK power supply, and in Europe, a European style. I'll plug in the power supply and press the power button to turn the system on. After a few seconds, it's booted and shows me the two auto channels, auto A and auto B. They currently have no signal because I haven't plugged anything in. We're about to fix that, though. I'm going to plug in the HDMI cable for one of my cameras here into the HDMI input labeled row A. That corresponds to the auto A channel, and you can see that it's capturing now. Even though I haven't done any configuration or connected to the network yet, it's ready to start recording. I'm just going to hit the record button here. Now we're going to stream the captured HDMI camera. To get started, we'll need to go to the system's web admin interface. Just going to plug in the Ethernet cable. Next, on the touch screen, I'm going to open Settings, and then go to the System Status page. Here, in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the IP address is listed. I'll log in as the administrator using the URL, which is the IP address, slash admin. It'll prompt me for a username and password. Username is admin, and there is no password by default. Right away here, I can open the view for the auto A channel in a new tab, and we're streaming. It was really simple to get started with Pearl. Just plug in the power, ethernet, and a source, and you're streaming live right away. Right here, I'm watching the auto A channel flash stream. There are other stream types too, though, and those are available on the status page for the channel. We'll take a look at those right now. If I click on the auto A channel, it'll show me the status page by default. Here is all kinds of information, including the different stream types. Here we have URLs for RTSP, MPEG-TS, ASF, and Flash. And if I've configured HLS, it'll show up here too. If I open the encoding page, it'll show us all the encoding settings for this channel. Perl automatically selects H.264 with hardware acceleration for best performance. It's set up to automatically detect and maintain the resolution of the incoming signal. By default, it's set to 30 frames per second and automatically will calculate the best bitrate based off the resolution detected. You can override any of these settings or just leave them as is for a simple plug and play experience. Additionally, several audio codecs are supported. By default, Perl selects 44 kilohertz AAC audio, but if you want MP3 or PCM, you can select those too. There are several more aspects of Perl that I can configure from streaming to branding, even creating more channels and channels with multi-source layouts. But for right now, we're just gonna leave everything set to defaults. So that's it for me unboxing and getting Pearl ready to run. It was as easy as plugging everything in and you're ready to stream and record right away. Pearl is fairly simple to use, but it's also a powerful unit with lots of options to customize it exactly how you want. If this video hasn't answered all your questions, we invite you to contact us to set up a custom demo or take a look at our other videos.